What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Here we are talking with the Commissioner, not the Commissioner, the Justice Minister again, who is finally revealing that they have known of the existence of a certain quote-unquote manipulator. I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another's behavior like that. My powers certainly don't work on living creatures. That's what I thought when I first heard the theory, too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. What? You mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? I suppose everybody here has the right to know. All right, fine. I'll speak out loud so that Inspector Cabanella can hear this, too. There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it all. It at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. And I. I learned the truth of that firsthand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Zhao's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. Damn, that's a hell of a power. What's going on? This document, what am I doing? No, I mustn't sign it! What? Wait, don't deliver that document! That's one hell of a power. That's some bloodbending right there. That's when it started. That's when all of my fear, despair, and suffering began. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I'd been manipulated. And my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Hmm, so the memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain. Signing execution orders is part of a justice's minister jobs. Well, blah, blah. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. So maybe someone was controlling What's-Her-Face when she shot me, Lin. But the next day, it dawned on me. I remembered Inspector Cavanell's report on the existence of a manipulator. As a Minister of Justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, the nation's judicial system would crumble. Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So, in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. I suppose, but it sounds a bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes, yes, I know. I should have. I was running away from the problem. And then my wife found out I was worried about something. Well, if you go around with that, an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth, immediately I'm moving out. Hmm, she's... okay. She has morals, which is surprising. And then, with the kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer deny my mistake. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. So there's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. What I'm not fine with is the fact that person 
Wait, that person can control them, manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. Apparently, different ghosts get different ghost tricks. Very interesting. But I never imagined that tonight. I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Inspector Cabanella. This manipulator is a ghost. A departed spirit. As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. Chow! Don't tell me you can hear this ghost too! I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you. Spirit? Ghost? Gods in heaven! Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I certainly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. Ooh, that was fast. Ooh, that must be Lin. This is Lin. I'm at the park. We've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Well, uh, the situation here is... It's kind of difficult to explain. Sissel, if you're here, come to the park immediately. Oh, great, everyone's dead. It looks like your help is needed, Sissel. Yeah, I guess so. Now a lot of people know about me. Alright. To... The park. Lin calls and I oblige. I take off towards Temsic Park, the place where clearly something big is taking place. Bap, 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 bap. The manipulator, the person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Zhao's crime, the execution orders, and even my own death. Boop, 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 boop. Could it be? Could Lin have been manipulated into shooting me? What a conspiracy! Chapter 14 Temsic Park, the site of Little Lady Camilla's- Oh! Special K is a duck- uh, Tonight! Oh my god. And the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? Oh, I can't memorize it. I'm trying. I'm on my way! Past the chicken briefcase. What's he doing here? La, 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 la. That's all of our favorite song. No! He is doing it! No! Let me- oh! Please stop. Please stop. A little late, it's already ice cold. Oh, we gotta wait for him to swing back, hold on. Wait, what? That's way too far! What am I supposed to do here? Is there a big swing? Ah, that, there is a big swing, okay. Woo! Hot damn. I could spin this thing. Do I want to yet? Hold on. Wow, how high am I going? Ah. Like, what am I doing right now? Am I still trying to get to her? Because I'm doing some crazy maneuvers right now. Hmm. Alright, well, for now, let's try spitting this. Go! Wait! Ghost! Damn it! I don't think that's enough. Keep spinning, please. God, you're fast. There it is.
Talk to me, baby. Oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected expression, I gather, you didn't find what you were looking for? Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead, something horrible. Horrible, what is it? There, in the grass, you better see for yourself. It looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. And I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? No, I suppose not. Let's go see who it is. Oh! Oh, wait. This guy looks familiar. I don't remember who it is, though. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! You there! You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you! Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in! I urge you to peruse it thoroughly! Examine it in detail! Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name. My name! What does my name matter when things are more important think Wait, there are more important things to worry about. Okay... Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother! Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me! The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching, but we are young. What What are you saying to me right now? Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. But I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Alright, let's go ahead and watch what happened. <laughs> what a pest! And so I made up my mind! I resolved to live here in this park and defend it! Okay, and what does that have to do with this Rock of the Gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand! It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet, in great detail! Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. What a hero. I've located the target, Beauty. A girl of the right age, coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nap her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? Oh gods, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. What? Oh. Wait, what? What? What the hell just happened? Oh, that's Mino. Mino? Mino, the mascot, the symbol of Temsic Park. Forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, yes I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes, the power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power of the Gods. The power of the Gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead? Yes, yes precisely. That is called the Mischief of the Gods. Mm, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? Ah, multiple ghosts fighting against each other. This is interesting. Look at that! There's another flame beside mine! Oh, so there's the flame of a god, is it? But hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Pardon me, but... Are you a god? 
I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Maybe I'd better try talking to this person. Oh! This is interesting. What the? This person with much greater powers than me. It's... You? Hey! What? It's Missile! It's Missile! Oh, so cute! You look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really hard and I did it! I saved Miss Special K! Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How'd you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked. After Miss K went out and you left... I worked like crazy to make my own path, and I did it! Did you kill yourself? And then I followed Miss K out into the big wide world! <laughs> this music is so cute! And then, here at this park, I found her at last! Yes, you guessed it! I barked! You bet I did! And I went running after her, too! Wow, that is such a lame way to die. Come on, missile. And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. That's so sad. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss K. Crushed under that big scary lump. What have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss K! Bum -bum. I had to rescue Miss K. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then... I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anybody else could. And I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So? You went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death? You bet I did! Ooh, his is green! That's a nice touch. Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nather and come right back to your side. But we've already read this, so I can just skip ahead. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw toward the core. Oh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel. Go ahead and try it for yourself. Wow, that's some serious range. I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Hmm. And so then you manipulated that minnow thing and threw it aside? Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. Then how did you... I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core, too. A single leaf hanging from a tree. <gasps> can he s can he swap positions? That's pretty cool. If he can swap two cores. What in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things I have, wait, have the same shape, that is. Swap things with the same shape. Go ahead and try it. Touch the swap button. That's incredible! And so that's how you saved your mistress. And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? And it's been 20 minutes, so I'm gonna end this video here. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye bye!